So in this lecture, we are going to see what is meant by projections. So when we transform an n plus one dimensional object into a n dimensional object, this is called as projection. For example, we take a photograph. So when we, when we take a photo, photograph, the photograph, uh, the person is actually in the three dimensional space. But when we take his photograph, the photograph is a two dimensional object. For example, look at this three dimensional object. Now we are going to project this three dimensional object on a plane and that plane is called as the plane of projection. Now we will see this object from one point. That one point I am going to call center of projection. Sometimes this center of projection may go to infinity. So that fixed point from which these rays are emitted, these rays, they, they are called as projectors. So I'm showing you the projectors of this particular object from that center of projection, which is J. So accordingly, the image is formed on this plane of projection. So you can see the rays are going through the plane of projection. So what will be the image of this particular object on the plane of projection? It will look like a pentagon, right? I will show you that pentagon now. <clears throat> the M point has image M dash, E has E dash, then B has B dash, C has image C dash and G has accordingly image G dash. So these are the five points which will be seen on the plane of projection. So let us now see that pentagon. So this is the pentagon which is the image of that particular object. So I hope the concept of projection is now a little bit understood with the uh, terminologies that we are going to use throughout this chapter. So I'm just showing you the terminologies once again. So the first terminology is plane of projection. Next is the center of projection, which is J. Then this is called as the object. And the pentagon that is formed is called image and the rays are called as projectors. So basically there are two types of projections. One is parallel projection and other is perspective projection. In parallel projection, the center of projection is located at infinity. So these rays are coming from infinity. They hit the object and then they fall on the plane of projection. In perspective projection, the center of projection is J is located at a finite distance from the object. So let us see parallel projections. Now I'm taking this object and I'm taking the plane x equal to zero. So I'm, pro I'm taking the center of projection from infinity and these are the rays uh, that is the projectors are hitting that plane and the image accordingly will be formed on that plane say x is, x is equal to zero. It can be any plane in general. Here it need not be always x equal to zero. In the entire chapter, we are going to project most of the things on the plane z equal to zero. That is the xy plane. So you can see that this is the image of this particular object by using which type of projection? The parallel projection. So as mentioned before, we are going to study two types of projections. First is parallel projection and other is perspective projection. Parallel projection is divided into three parts, which is orthographic projection, axonometric projection and oblique projections. Again, axonometric projections are of three types. One is trimetric, next is diametric and the third is isometric. Oblique projections will be of two types basically. One will be cavalier and other will be cabinet. And perspective projections are of three types. One is single point, then the next is two point, and the last is three point. We are going to cover all these projections in our coming lectures. 
So now we are going to study the first type of parallel projection that is orthographic projection and we have noted that what are the points important in orthographic projection. First of all the projectors which are actually the rays they are parallel to the they are parallel to each other that is the first important point I must note and the second important point is that these projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection. So these two important points are needed in this particular section. So they are perpendicular to the plane of projection. For example, I'm going to see this object and I'm going to project it on the plane x equal to 0. So I'm projecting it on x is equal to 0. This is which type of projection? Orthographic projection. So the projectors are parallel to each other and they are perpendicular to the plane of projection that is the plane x equal to 0. As I told you we can also project do the projection on the plane y equal to 0. So now I am going to uh, show the projection on to y equal to 0 plane also. So this projection currently that I am showing is for x equal to 0 plane. If I do the same thing for from the infinite side and project the image on the plane y equal to 0 that is plane y equal to 0 you can see the projectors will be like this and I'll show you and now I'm projecting them all the points so this is how the image will be formed on the plane y equal to 0 and we will also see it from that side how the image looks. See that is a pentagon that has occurred on the plane y equal to 0. Not only this, we also look for the projection on the plane z equal to 0. Z equal to 0 means xy plane. So we will take the center of projection above that is top. From top we will project it downwards. So I am showing you the plane z equal to 0 now and I am looking and projecting it from up the image is now formed on the xy plane you can see that it will be a square like thing projection of m will be this point so let us go to the base and see how the image looks like on the plane z equal to 0 see this is how the image of that object looks like when I project from up on the z equal to 0 plane so there are basically three types of projections. So I will take this object in the three dimensional space and now what I will do is I will first uh, project this object. I will show the projection on the xy plane. So for that x for for projecting on the xy plane I have to bring z axis in front of my eyes. So I have to view from the z axis. So I will bring it in front of my eyes and then I will bring exactly perpendicular to my eyes. Uh, eyes. So yes, now you see that this is the projection of the object on the xy plane or z equal to 0 plane. We also will sometimes project the object on x equal to 0 plane. x equal to 0 plane means the yz plane. So I will bring x axis in front of my eyes. So in that case the object will look like this. How will the object look if I project the object on the xz plane that is y equal to 0 plane. So for that what I have to do is I have to take y equal to the y positive y axis exactly in front of my eyes. So I'll bring it down and I will see it like this. So this is the image on the xz plane when I look from the positive y axis on the yz plane. In orthographic projections, sometimes multi-view projections are very important. For example, let me show you the front view of this object. This is the way the front view is. If I want to see the left view of the object, I will rotate the z-axis like this and I will see the left view. If I want to see the right view of the object, so how will the right view will be seen? It will be rotating the z-axis again. If I want to see the bottom view, I will go like this. This is the bottom view of the object and this is the top view of the object. And if I want to see the rear view that is the back side of the object, I will see this is the rear view of the object. So these six views are very important. This is called multi, they are called multi view projections. So now if we have a point P which is having coordinates x, y, 
z1 in the homogeneous coordinate system is if this point is projected on the plane z equal to 0 okay i'm going to project this point on the plane z equal to 0 means what is going to happen so the z coordinate will become 0 and therefore the image of that point is will become p dash which is x y 0 and 1 okay so if i have a point which is uh, which is having coordinates 2 3 and say 2 3 and 4 what is the image on the on the z equal to 0 plane the projection will be p dash is 2 3 and 0 why is this one coming this one is because we are working in the homogeneous coordinate system right so it eventually means that i want to transfer the point x y z 1 to the point x y 0 1 so this matrix the matrix which will do this job will be called as projection matrix onto the z equal to 0 plane obviously what is that matrix that matrix will be of the form 1 1 0 and 1 else everywhere i have a 0 so this matrix will do our job when i will multiply this matrix by the point x y z1 what will be the output the output will be x y 0 1 so this is nothing but this means that p dash is obtained by what p multiplied by the matrix pz okay this is matrix pz this is p and this is the point p dash okay similarly if you want to project a point on on the plane x equal to 0 okay so this is for what this is for projection on z equal to 0 plane if i want to do the same job for projection on x equal to 0 plane what will i do i will say p dash is equal to p into p x can you guess what is p x now the matrix p x will be equal to what it will be 0 1 1 and the homogeneous coordinates i have one so let me put here 0 0 0 else everywhere there is a 0 okay so this will be the projection on the x equal to 0 plane if i want to use a projection on y equal to 0 plane i am going to use p dash is equal to p into p y i hope now the matrix p y is also clear to you still let me write it for your sake so i'm going to write 1 0 1 and 1 and everywhere we have a 0 so this will the projection matrix on y equal to 0 plane okay now we all know what are rotation matrices i will still recall once what is rotation matrix rx given by the rotation matrix rx is given by 1 0 0 0 then i have 0 cos theta sin theta 0 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 and 0 0 0 1 right and how is the rotation done i will write x y z in this fashion so how how does this rotation matrix works it works in this fashion right this is the way we are going to rotate okay how and what about the rotation about y-axis i hope you know that here it is not that as same as the x-axis so if i draw the three axis let me say this is x y and protruding is z we have to rotate it in this fashion from positive x-axis to positive z-axis but the matrix in that case is slightly different as we all know it is cos theta then sine theta with the minus sign 0 0 1 0 0 here you have sine theta 0 cos theta 0 and 0 0 0 1 so this, this is a rotation matrix for about y equal to y axis and what is the rotation matrix about z axis how are you going to rotate let me draw it x y and z 
rotate the positive x-axis to the positive y-axis. This direction is going to be the direction of rotation. What is the matrix given by? Still let me write it. It is cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta with one and one on the diagonal and zero everywhere. So this is we already know all this. Okay. So now let us solve a simple problem related to this. So we want to write a transformation matrix to create a top view of an object. It means I'm given this object, okay, and this x, y, z is as usual we know. What I will do first is I have to rotate the object by 90 degrees about the positive x axis. So I will go and I will rotate the object. See, I'm rotating the object now by 90 degrees about the positive x axis and then I will push back this thing. Okay, then I will just project it and now I'm showing you here. I'm actually it looks like as if I'm translating, but actually I'm not translating. I'm just projecting this particular thing on the z equal to zero plane. Okay, so see when I push it like this, when I push the entire top surface on the z equal to zero plane, it is going to give me the top view from the frontal side. So let me show you that front side so that the top view has come in front of our eyes exactly. OK, so this is the way we get the top view. So in the solution, what I will write it is that I will first use rotation about X axis and by what angle by the angle plus 90. OK, and then it will be followed by what it will be followed by the projection matrix pz that is on the plane z equal to 0 so what is the so what is the final matrix it is r x and then after that i will follow by pz so it basically means that what is this matrix this matrix is 1 cos 90 then this is sin 90 this is minus sin 90 and cos 90 and one and one here and else everywhere I have a zero wherever I'm putting a dot that dot means that it is a zero and what is the projection matrix for z equal to zero on the z equal to zero plane here you have one one here you have a zero and here you have a one so this is the final transformation matrix which creates the top view of an object suppose I want to create the right view of an object. So let me write the question, uh, write the transformation matrix to create right view. So what, how will you get the right view of an object? So it is easy. So for that, I will first rotate the object about y axis. So this is the right view. I will rotate it about y axis with minus 90 degrees. So let me go and rotate the. So this is actually the view we want to bring in front of a y. So I will first rotate it by minus 90 degrees so that the right face comes in front of our eyes. That is z equal. That is our z axis. OK, and then I will. Project it on the z equal to zero plane. OK, now I will project it and I will now drag this object. It looks as if we are dragging. I'm not dragging. I'm projecting the object. So when I project it on the z equal to zero plane, the right surface has exactly seen on the z equal to zero plane. See, this is the right surface of the object. So when I write the solution in the solution, I will write the matrix T that will do this job of getting me the right view is nothing but I will first rotate use the rotation matrix Y and what is the angle of rotation it is minus 90 degrees and then I will project it on the plane Z equal to zero. So this will mean that this matrix should basically look like cos then minus sign then sign and uh, cos. I hope you know the signs are different for this and what is the angle here it is minus 90 minus 90 minus 90 and 
minus 90 with one over here and one over here and all other entries are zero wherever I'm putting a dot followed by the projection matrix what is the projection matrix on z equal to zero plane it is one one zero and one so this multiplication will give you the uh, will give you the right view of the object so it means that now if we are asked to produce the bottom view of an object so what will give you the bottom view of the object now i hope it is clear to all of you to get the bottom view of the object we will rotate the matrix the of the object about the x axis by minus 90 degrees and then i will use the projection matrix pz if i want to create the rear view what is the rear view the rear view means the back side of the object so how will i get the rear view i will rotate the object about y axis by how much angle so i if i rotate it about 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees i will get the left or the right view so i have to rotate it by complete 180 degrees to get the back view of the object and then i will use the projection matrix pz okay so with this the section of orthographic projection gets over